This storm's going to be different. If you're in an evacuation zone, please get out. Don't gamble with you and your loved one's life. A stern warning this afternoon ahead of what's expected to be a catastrophic storm to hit the state of Florida. Now climate experts are warning of more storms like Milton in the near future. NBC's climate reporter Chase Kane has the latest from Orlando. What we saw with Hurricane Milton on Monday, that extreme rapid intensification is one of the hallmarks of climate change. And that's why people even here in Orlando, more than 100 miles inland, are taking this threat seriously. They are filling up sandbags. Orange County says they've given out more than 100,000 sandbags so far. And that's because just a couple of years ago, when Hurricane Ian hit this area, brought 13, 15 inches of rain, triggering flash flooding across Orange County. Hundreds of people had to be evacuated from their homes. And of course, people are taking this seriously because when you look at what climate change allowed, amplified Milton to do, regular rapid intensification is 35 miles an hour in less than 24 hours. Extreme rapid intensification, this is a new term. That is 58 miles an hour in, of increase in less than 24 hours. And look at what Milton did. 92 mile an hour increase in wind speeds in less than 24 hours. And that has officials here in Orlando concerned if their city stormwater systems can keep up. The problem is that these storms are getting bigger and bigger bigger and bigger. Our storm system can handle up to a foot of water or three inches in an hour. The problem is these storms are getting more and more and more intense. We never had storms where we had, we had six inches of rain in less than an hour in a regular afternoon storm which caused some localized flooding a couple of weeks ago. This is going to be a lot worse than that. So that's going to be the thing to watch here in Central Florida is how much rain Milton brings and also how strong it is when it makes landfall on the west coast of Florida because Orange County officials are saying the National Hurricane Center told them to expect a minimum of Category 1 strength hurricane here in Orlando could potentially be even stronger. So that's why everyone here is taking this threat seriously. In Orlando, I'm National Climate Reporter Chase Kane.